up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl lex if you are new here all you gotta do is hit subscribe to join the family okay so <clears throat> i wanted to come talk to you guys about the ttc journey because i know i talked to y'all a few days ago about how i was going to go to the doctor and how i wanted to get checked and i just wanted to make sure everything and me, you know, is good and there's no infertility issues, you know, PCOS and just, you know, <clears throat> fibros and just like some of the common things um, that can run and can be in anybody's family and any woman can have healthy, plus size, skinny, it can be the healthiest woman to the most unhealthiest woman. And I'm outside in my car on my lunch break and these birds are letting y'all know that. <laughs> Anyways, so I was talking to Matthew and it was kind of like a... It's kind of like a joke in a way, but I was also being like dead ass serious. Women, you know, when you're joking with your man, but you also trying to see what he going to say because you, you trying to pick up what he putting down. And so I was like, you know, um, I said, you know, hey, babe, you know, we were talking and stuff. We was talking and stuff like that, having a good little conversation. And I said, you know, I'm going to go to the doctor. <clears throat> Um, just to make sure everything is good because after this surgery and all this weight loss, I we I just he said it too, but I just really have a feeling that I'm gonna get pregnant. Like once this weight comes off and I'm healthier and I'm much lighter, I just I, I don't know, it's just something in my spirit. I just feel like that's when I'm gonna get pregnant, honestly. That's just how I feel, my opinion. And um he was like, Yeah, baby, you know, like, I'm ready, I'm excited. Um, um bad, bad, dead blown. I'm about to say, What the hell is that? <laughs> um he was like, you know, he's really excited and stuff like that. And I said, yeah, I said, you know, I'm going to, you know, go. I said, you know, you should go, you know, because he, he goes to the same doctor as well. They have, um, like, male and female, you know, help and practice, stuff like that. I said, you know, you should talk to your doctor and, you know, see about, you know, your sperm count or what so have you. And he kind of paused and was like, looked at me. And, you know, I think we were in the shower. And, you know, I'm just still, you know, washing off. So I'm like, you know, yeah, you should go and, you know, get checked. He told me, he said, I don't need to go get checked. He said, he said, my swimmers are swimming. He said, all of them. I said, oh, I know they're swimming. I'm like, you know, I, I got that. I said, but maybe we could, should just go and, you know, you can get your account and you can get, you know, just to be sure how many you have and make sure that there's nothing extra that you can do on your end. And he was like, babe, I'm good. My swimmers are swimming. Trust me. So, ladies who have been on the TTC journey, if you know somebody who has been on a TTC journey, how do you? Cause I don't, I don't think it's more of like a, he doesn't want to do it or he doesn't support it. I think it more, I think it's more of like his manhood and like his pride. If anything, that's like, why the hell do I need to go get checked? I, I'm, I'm good type thing. And not saying I don't think he is, but how did y'all? break down the you know you need to go be seen as well you need to get checked out let's see how many swimmers <clears throat> you have because like I said I don't think it's something that he won't do like I don't think there's something that he's just not up for but I don't I also don't want to what's the word I also don't want to I feel like I want to say devalue, but it's not a word. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to knock him and make him feel like there's something wrong with him. Make him feel like um, there's something that he can't do. Does that make sense? Like, I want him to still feel half his pride. I want him to still feel 100% in charge. Um, I want him to still feel like, you know, he is the head of the household. Like, I still want him to feel that. But I also really do, you know, especially after my surgery, of course, like not right now, but it's especially by like July, I definitely want him to go and make sure everything is good. Um, so ladies, how did y'all break that down? How did y'all tell them in a nice way? Hey, I want you to do, like I said, it's not that he won't do it. I just think that's just something that's abnormal for men like most of the time it's the woman taking a pregnancy test the ovulation going to a doctor getting checked checking for fibroids checking for pcos getting her uterus checked getting her ovaries checked like it's always us going 110 percent and our man is there just to support us but i feel like when it's a man's turn it's more of like a i'm good like we're good of course i really feel like if it comes down to it 
he most definitely will go um he didn't say no he was just like i'm good <laughs> type stuff so how did y'all do it um and also what foods um were you guys eating and if you were also doing it for your man as well what type of foods was he eating what type of foods were you guys doing because um i don't really know too many food i mean i looked on google and stuff but i don't really know too many foods um i heard of like black is it black seed oil I was watching this girl, I don't know if y'all know her, Trinity J, and she was doing like her pregnancy morning routine. I don't know what that, what was it, black seed oil? I think it was. But I am definitely want to go ahead and start getting some vitamins in us because we take like a one a day men's, one a day women's, but I want us to start getting our vitamins um, in us like daily um, and not just like a one a day. I want to have my iron pills, potassium pills, vitamin C, like I want us to really really start having these vitamins so that our bodies are ready and that we're healthy and you know there's nothing that's pretty much can prevent this from happening because we've been trying for a minute now i remember i had the baby and i had just started my ttc journey so it's almost been a year and a few months um so with this weight loss surgery i'm really wanting to go ahead and just just get it done uh so yeah y'all comment down below how did you break it to him um I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, it's and it's new for me as well because I've personally never had to go to a doctor for anything like this. You know what I mean? Of course, if I was sick or something, but as far as like TTC infertility and stuff, I've never had to go because um, I wasn't on a TTC journey before. I wasn't trying to get pregnant. At one time, I didn't even want kids. Okay, that was something I said all the time. I don't want kids. I don't want no kids. Don't hold me down. Yeah, I was that girl. I ain't want no kids. Um, but of course, as I got older, that changed. Uh, so yeah, y'all let me know. Um, like I said, I'm going to go through with the surgery. Um, of course, I have to wait at least six months to a year uh, for that. And y'all, let me tell y'all something. Matthew low-key trying to get me pregnant before the surgery. And I know it because every time we do it, I'm a, that's, that's, that's a little TMI but just listen he trying to trap you girl <laughs> and I told him I said no babe I gotta get this surgery first but he been trying I'm like mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm I, I see you you see me we see each other okay uh but yeah y'all leave some tips down below um on that and I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to touch base on I told you guys about Matthew I told you guys about my doctor that I'm planning on um starting in the meantime i actually need to go ahead and call them i called yesterday but the line was busy it's a local place so the line was busy and i didn't have that much time on my break so i just hung up and of course they were closed when i got off they closed at five um excuse me i'm trying to think is there anything else i need to tell you i think that's it you guys um uh, so comment down below let me know i did get you guys uh video request ideas that's the last video i posted so i did get some of those me and matthew will be um doing some videos this weekend i will be bulk recording some videos this weekend because it's veda and i need to get these videos out pre-scheduled and done okay um I'm trying to think I think that was it so yeah you guys if you made it to the end of this video please be sure to like comment and subscribe share me out i think i'm dope i hope y'all think i'm dope and i will see y'all in the next video bye